Hello, Gemini. I am here to do your February monthly reading. So I have to preface it before I go on because I have I've like had it. But um, if you leave me a negative comment, I will block you. So if you're watching and you feel like leaving a negative comment, that's fine. But just know that you will be blocked. Like I am not going to tolerate that. So a lot, a majority of you leave super nice comments. I love it, but just be aware that if you do leave me a negative comment, I will block you. Um, no time for that. So let's see what's going on for Gemini's in uh, the month of February. The song you got on shuffle was Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. So baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I feel like some of you guys have glown up. Have my Gemini's glo uh, glown up? Have I think maybe the Three of Cups has popped out a lot. So um, in the pre-shuffle, so maybe you guys were involved in like third-party situations and you finally uh, walked away, or you were in some kind of energy where somebody wasn't focusing a lot of time on you. I feel like with the full moon, a lot of you guys have released like an X. A lot of you guys have released some negative energy. And by doing so, you've like blown up. So you're like looking hot. You're out there feeling like a 10, looking like revenge. I feel like in the month of February, you guys are going to be in some really good energy, Gemini. Some really good energy. So let's get into it. Let's see what the overall energy is coming out of the four of cups the four of cups in reverse so i feel like you guys have been like down in the dumps for a little bit down in the dumps but not anymore you guys are kind of having your moment i think yeah to the nine of cups so you guys i think with this whole full moon energy a lot of you have released some feeling of like that feeling of despair, that feeling of just, just being kind of comfortable. I think a lot of you guys have released that and are like, hell no, I'm a badass. I'm going to be in my badass energy. I got all the options. Like it ain't over yet. And I think you guys are having that like moment where you guys are kind of in a great you guys are starting to like look at the positive. You guys are starting to be optimistic about your life, so about your love life. Start feeling yourselves again. I think for the last few months, you might have not been feeling yourself. In January, you might have focused on getting back in that good state of mind. By the time that full moon hits, you guys are ready to go. That was like the final push you needed. So let's get into um, the energies between you and another person. All right, there is um, there's a new beginning here on the top. Somebody wanting a new beginning. Somebody wanting to um, somebody wanting to have a new beginning with you. Wanting to kind of break down whatever wall it is you have. You could be dealing with a Libra, but somebody down here has made the decision to want to work on this connection. Um, and I feel like you're wanting to take this new beginning. Oh, and the Fool card. Wowzers. Big new beginning energy. I think this is you on the top, Gemini. Kind of just open to a whole new world of possibilities. And by doing that, you have like brought yourself a lot more options. Brought yourself a lot more options to the table. Let me see. Yeah, there's that Three of Cups. You guys could have options. Um, you might not be in Three of Cups like a third party. You guys might be like the one with options. But I think there's a somebody here who's actually putting some work and effort. Could be a Libra, and they're wanting to um, they're wanting to move forward with you. They're wanting to work on this connection. The Six of Pentacles is here. Um, this person might have like surprised you. This person might have been really unexpected. And you guys, it's kind of 
inspiring this new beginning. It's somebody who really finally got you out of this, um, like you didn't expect this person and they really got you out of this mental frame that you've been in for a while. They kind of sparked your, your uh, desire to kind of leave this behind. So this person is kind of serving as a, a little heaven sent for you because they have really kind of pushed you to get out of that comfort zone. Yeah, I feel like you guys are finally letting this person's encouraging you to let go of the past and they might not even realize that they're having this effect or vice versa. Like if this is the person you're dealing with, you might not realize the effect that you've had on them to like have help them release whatever it was they were holding on to in the past. So um, I think this person is going to might not communicate that with you, but they do want to move forward. They do want to communicate with you. I think you're going to be getting some kind of communication from this person. That's going to be a little bit of a surprise to you. Like you're, you didn't realize you didn't realize this person had feelings for you. You didn't realize like this was an option for you, but you're going to get some kind of communication from this person. Um, but I do see you guys moving out of this like anxiety. You guys were kind of super anxious, super indecisive, had a lot going on in your heads, but you're kind of letting that go and being like a little bit more free spirited, Gemini. Let me see. Yeah, moving out of that Ten of Swords energy. Moving out, you're done. This person wants to build something stable with you. They have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles. They really want to build something stable with you. This person wants to... Um, and this could be... There's like a lot of Eights here. So this could be a new beginning with a past person. Um... Or this could just be a new person altogether and this is like a past life relationship that um, kind of was destined because this person kind of triggered you to move out of that Four of Cups energy into the Nine of Cups. Yes, you have options, but this person's kind of taking precedent over those other options, but you're not putting all your eggs into one basket. You're letting this person kind of prove themselves, which I think is good. Um, but I definitely see you coming out of a lot of hurt and pain in the month of February, a lot of pain that you were kind of self-inflicting by not moving forward, by being too focused on the past. You're letting that go. You've got a new beginning. February is going to be a great month for you. You're going to have a lot of fun. I feel like a really good energy around February for Gemini. So, um, blocking this connection before was the not let, like not letting go of the past. So we have two sevens here. Interesting. So seven might be a significant number for you. I'm not sure. But um, what's blocking it is just being guarded. But I think you're guarded because you have options. So this person's not going to let go of this connection. You're going to see that they're going to move forward with this because they... They really do feel like you are, so, like they have a recognition. You might be from a past life. Um, their, their spirit guides are telling them to move forward. Um, their intuition's telling them to move forward. You're going to have some kind of ex unexpected communication. Could be on the 7th, so keep an eye out for that. Um, the 7th of the month. Uh, maybe you get some kind of un unexpected communication. So uh, that this person wants to work on this with you. Um, I think you'll welcome it because I think right now you're kind of just like not trying to invest too much of your time into your and feelings because you don't know where it's going to go. But I think this person does want a future with you. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Gemini. I will be heading over to the extended reading where I'm going to do messages from this person, actions this person's going to take, and advice from your spirit guides. I'm also doing like both sides now so that, um, you know, in case you're the bottom or you're the top. So, all right. I will see you guys there. Bye.